What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Now, it's been a couple days. It's been a couple days. And I'm a little late. But what we're about to do right now, we're about to react to this 36-minute video. Probably not going to look at the whole thing. I'm not even going to look at it. I'm probably going to skip through. But before we get into this video, like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You already know what time it is. And let's get into the video. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't throw cuz. Cool and I'm back again with another video, and as you can hear, my voice a little hoarse. But it's always been like that, but it's just getting a little bit worse, cuz guess what, man? I've been living a good life. I've been out two times yesterday, and that's something very, 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 very rare for me. I barely go out one time a day, so I went to a daylight pool party in daytime for this R&B artist named Blast, who honestly, I heard one of his songs before, but never downloaded or didn't know that was him or you know how it go when you're not used to uh, downloading the trip. It was very cool, man. d didn't go with me, but my family, and it just sucks that I wasn't doing more networking because yesterday was an eye-opener. Bro, I hate when this man is talking and he not talking about the title. I want to know about the title. I don't care about your network. I don't care about you wish you was networking more than being with your family. That's stupid. For me. <laughs> and That's stupid. Somebody pay like 30000 for this. Introducing myself or getting introduced to a billion. It's like three month bachelor party. Y'all probably be like, that's cap for. You probably be happy for me. You know, either way, it doesn't matter. Nope. It's just like, I always wanted this life. I don't want to be a Christmas dad or, you know, like I get Kamari every summer and throughout the year. That's not a Christmas dad. But the way that the situation is going right now with the twins is totally different. With Leon, like totally different. Leon, I bought all the kids. But here, here's the thing. Y'all notice how he's talking about the twins and Leon. He don't never say shit about the girls, for real. It's just Leon and the twins. It's like this dude likes Leon better <clears throat> than the girls. And I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. Even when the like baby CJ was born, he really like paid more attention to baby CJ than he did his daughter. And then on top of that, he posted baby CJ first and only had him posting on his page for like a couple of days. And I'm guessing people said something about it. I don't know. Cause then he posted the, his daughter. So I'm like, how you going to post one kid and not the other? It's like he favors the boys over the girls, but whatever. Here's a phone. Y'all know that about Leon, Jalea, Nation, all them phones, right? Well, supposedly Leon broke his phone at the park, so now I can't even talk to him at all. I've been texting, 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 texting. Nothing's getting delivered. You know that's my role, dog. That's my homie. That's my best friend. You know, like it's different when you when you bond with somebody off camera. On camera is different. That's that's on camera chemistry, but off camera is like that's when All right, so <clears throat> he has a better relationship with Leon than he the, the girls. I mean, as a parent, bro, you're not really supposed to show favoritism to your kids. I can, I'm not going to really speak too much on that because I'm not a parent. But, like, it, it, I, it would make other children feel left out if they see that their dad cares more about one of them than the other, you know? Like, my pops, he doesn't show favoritism to us. He treats us all the same. He has, like, seven kids. And literally, we all get the same treatment. We get the same discipline. We get the same love. We get the same thing. There, there's no way anybody will be able to say, oh, he likes this kid more than the other because he loves us all the same and he shows it. When it's real, you know? So me and Leon, we were so tight. Now that I can't reach out to him, it's, it sucks. And uh, I can't reach out to him because for whatever knows what, whoever knows what. You know why. You can't talk to Leon because of how you act with his mother. You can't talk to Leon because he's not biologically your son and now that y'all are together, you already took you know, took him away. I mean like at the end of the day, bro, you knew this would be a possibility. Like you knew that if y'all did break up, there's a possibility that you would not be involved in the, the other kids' lives that weren't biologically yours. Now while y'all was together, obviously you was involved and you were their dad for so many years. So I mean I do understand where he's coming from too. Like, I was there for X amount of years when their biological father wasn't, so why can't I be there now even though we broke it up? It's kind of just like if they were his kids. I, I get that. But, like, at the end of the day, as fucked up as it is, 
royalty can decide what to do with her biological children. But like, I'm not saying it's right because it's really, it's really, a, it's just a different situation. Like I've never been through a situation like this. So I don't really, I can't really speak too much on that. I don't know, man, but my ex is definitely not a responsive person. Like when she wants something, yeah, she gonna, she gonna reach out, she gonna respond. But if she don't want nothing, if she good, it's just like whatever, you know? So I've been struggling to get over the fact that I haven't seen the twins, haven't been able to kiss them, hug them, touch them, hear their voice, see them, not even on FaceTime. So it's really like crazy. So today- It's the consequences of your actions. And like on the real, bro, like a lot of parents, I'm gonna say parents because the man can have the child or the woman can have the child. Like sometimes the child's in the man's possession and sometimes the child's in the woman's possession. It just really depends on the situation. But the thing is, when you do certain things, there are consequences. That's just consequences. When you publicly humiliate your family and you talk trash about them online, there's consequences. When you cheat on the person you're with for years, there's consequences. When you gaslight, manipulate, and all of this, there's consequences. So there's consequences for every action. And he needs to understand that these are the consequences of his actions. And if he really wanted to see the kids, if she really not letting him see the kids and he feels like she won't, go to court, bro. Talking to the internet is not going to help. Like, we're not, like, we can't help you. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you telling us this information doesn't do anything for you besides cause more problems because then your supporters will go over there and say stuff to her about it. And then she would be like, you know what? Since you got these people coming to my, coming to my space, you know, threatening me, saying this, calling me on my name, I'm not going to give you what you want. And like, like I said, I'm not saying neither one of them is right when it comes to this, but you got to be an adult. When you that age, you got to think and use your head, and this is the wrong way to go about it. He's just doing it all wrong. Today, and I know I'm rambling as usual, but today yeah, when I went on Instagram, that. I made a little, uh, I posted some pictures from last night, chilling out with, you know, high network individuals, my boy d -Lo, and the caption just came straight off the top of the head. I don't know. I was just, you know, trying to create a new caption that somebody might relate to, right? So I put this caption out there, and I, not everybody, but a couple of females was in the comments like, oh, he's so corny, or oh my God, get over it, or why you keep bringing her up? And I'm like, really, it ain't even about her. It's just the- Bro. <laughs> like, like, some like things, like some captions that you put on your stuff, you feel me, is like, some captions can be songs, some captions can be quotes, some captions can be something you come off the top of the head with, you feel me? But like, like for for instance, I posted a caption one time on my page, fuck an X on to the next. I knew exactly who I was talking about. I knew exactly that, I knew they was gonna see that. I knew, I wanted them to see that, you feel me? I was being petty, like I knew this person would see this and boom, 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 you feel me? But like, I'm not, I'm not a big YouTuber. I don't have as much pull as he do. So him creating that caption when literally thousands of people can see this, it is, it is corny. Cause like, bro, this is somebody that you spent years with, someone you had houses with, someone you had kids with, and the way that you're acting on the internet is wild. You feel me? So it's like, you knew what you were doing, didn't expect to get that much hate for it. And once you did, now you're backtracking and you're trying to cover it up and you're trying to make it seem like I wasn't even talking about her. Yes, she was. Just like when, bro, we mixed that song, like, Lame Bitch Free. You knew you was talking about her. And after you said it, you immediately was like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Well, I'm going to keep recording instead of, you know, deleting this clip and just starting over. I'm going to keep recording it. And I'm going to also say, I hope the shade room post this part. I love my kids. Da, da, da. Like, bro, that was all unnecessary. It was corny. You should have deleted the whole clip, started a new one. But he likes this type of shit because it brings people to his channel. Like, he likes this. He likes the drama. He likes the attention. He loves it. So he's going to keep doing it because he likes it. As a whole, she left me and I became the best version of myself. That don't mean it's a specific person. I have been in hundreds of relationships. Bro. <laughs> this bed is crazy. He knows, he knew who he was talking about, bro. Like, who else could that be about? You was with this girl for like, what, seven years? More than that? I don't remember. You was with this girl for years. Who else are you talking about? Royalty just left. 
now you're out and about getting all these connections with celebrities. Obviously, you're talking about royalty. <laughs> Relationship, so you don't know who I'm talking about. In general, once a, a lady leaves a man, if that man chooses to go down the drain, now he's trying to say lady and shit like he wasn't calling her a bitch. Anyway, that's on him. But I'm not choosing that route, so I feel like it was it was something I could say, and hopefully other people could relate to me. And then I just got like backlash from so many people. It's like whoa, but my restrict hand is strong, so I really ain't tripping. I just got the restrict and restrict and restrict. I ain't gonna even block nobody. When you restrict them, they can still comment, they can still like, but no one sees it but me and them. So it doesn't really hurt me, but it does linger in my mind when I read these comments because when you read things, they go in your in your process, in your brain. So I'm reading these comments of all these people that seem like their life might be perfect and they don't got no worries. Whatever they need, boom, you got it. If she say, I need you to watch the kids so I can go out on a date, boom, bring them. But she ain't going to do that. So... Um, I wouldn't do that either. I wouldn't ask for your help after all the stuff you've been doing on the internet. I wouldn't want your help. I wouldn't want you to do anything if you didn't have to. You feel me? Like, I'm all for her asking her mom because who wants to deal with this? Because then as soon as the kids go, if she asks you for a favor, you're going to post it on Instagram. You're going to talk about it in a video. As soon as you get the kids... You're going to put them on camera every single day and exploit them at a young age. So, no, I wouldn't. I don't blame her, bro. Um, I don't know, man. It's just I need y'all to lighten up on me and show me love and embrace me. If you showed people love and you lightened up on them, maybe you can get the same thing in return. But because you don't do that and you choose to do things in the complete wrong way, people aren't going to do that for you. You have to be willing to take what you dish out. If you dishing out corny shit, childish shit, you're going to get it back. And you're going to have to be able to take it. Because now it's not just your little kid fans watching you. It's also adults who have either been in similar situations, know somebody that's been in similar situations, or who can just relate seeing this. And everybody's not going to co-sign you. Nobody's not going to always be on your side. I'd be like, damn, I get hate all the time. And I laugh at them and keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that deep. <laughs> and try to uplift me because this is a time where I actually need my subscribers, my fans, my followers. I don't need you to hate on me. I already get hate every freaking day. I that should tell you something about yourself. You get hate every day. That should tell you about yourself. That should tell you that you need to change something about your life. That should tell you that the direction that you're going in is the wrong direction if you continuously are getting hate. Like, that's a clear sign. But do you think that he sees that? No. He thinks that he don't do any wrong. And then sometimes he'll say that he did wrong, and then he'll backtrack and say he never did wrong. Like, bro, you're not God. I need y'all to embrace me, to uplift me, and to make me feel better about myself. That's good because to hear. All right. And my ex. You might be beefing today, but you never know. You might be best friends tomorrow. So it's always hope. And I don't want y'all to keep thinking that I don't like them, that I don't like her, that I hate her, or that I'm just so happy I'm lonely now. Like, yes, finally got rid of them. No, it's not like that. I just don't want It seemed like that. From the videos that you make, the stuff you post on Instagram, it seems like that. You're having the time of your life. You don't have to worry about anybody Asking you what you're doing or where you've been. You ain't got to worry about nobody going through your phone and getting mad at you. Like, you ain't got to worry about that. You like this. You said that you didn't want to be taking care of kids at your age right now, which is wild to me because in your 30s, most people have kids. And if you have kids, you got a responsibility to take care of them. You can't pick and choose when you want to be a parent. You can't go out all night and then expect to see the kids when you get home when they sleep and you mad that they sleep. That It don't work like that. Because you had a choice. You had kids. You had a choice to have kids. You chose to be a stepfather. That's your responsibility now. Because you said that you was going to do that. And that's crazy. I want to be walking around moping like, man. Because y'all don't even like that. Then all y'all really going to be on my head. Stop bringing her up. Stop, stop, stop. That's all y'all like to say, right? Literally. Some of y'all don't even watch none of my videos until I get dumped. Then y'all come just to tell me, stop bringing her up. Stop bringing her up. Like, dude, where, were you, where you been at when she was here? Bruh. You wasn't. So, 
I don't know. It's just something I just wanted to get off my chest. And I don't like talking to myself without recording. So this is the best way for me to talk to myself is to record because not only can I process things and think clearly when I'm recording, but I can go back and watch it and reminisce over the things that I said and try to correct those things in my life if I felt like, oh, I made a mistake that I shouldn't have said that. You know, so that's what this video is about, man. And so you're 33 years old. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. You're 33 years old. There are mistakes and there are choices. A mistake is something accidental. That doesn't happen often. A choice is on purpose. You can, like... Keemstar and FouseyTube has invited me to join the team. And now it's my it's my time to think about it. I love you, Fousey, but you're a bug. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Now. And I thought boxing was a good thing. I thought showing the youth... Me, you know, from their perspective. And it's kind of... It's... All right, listen, y'all. This is what I'm going to say. <clears throat> I wanted to react to this video. I failed miserably. Reacting to this dude is like Im fuck impossible. Like it's it's impossible to react to this dude. It's really impossible. It's so hard. Cause all he does is lie. All he does is backtrack shit. He tries to make it seem like like he's just this great guy and people are coming at him for no reason. That is not the case. That is not the case. And and here's a PSA to to his to his subscribers. You feel me? Y'all that be coming to my channel trying to talk crazy, that's cool. Keep doing you. But, like, y'all are all kids, and I'm going to tell y'all the same thing. Stay out of grown folks' business. <laughs> Stay out of grown folks' business, okay? When you get of age, and you're not in the teens no more. Even being 18 is a teenager, fam, and that's a fact. You feel me? When you're grown and you're in a situation like this, I pray you. Matter of fact, I pray you're never in a situation like this because if you are at his age, you're a child in the man's body and you need help. You need help. But hey, bro, I can't watch the rest of this video. I'm not even going to put y'all through the rest of this video. I'm probably not going to react to him directly anymore. And I have to be from Voice of the People or one of the tea rooms or something because I cannot watch this guy's video. But I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Until next time, peace.